It is four o'clock on Saturday morning and we are getting ready to go to Cedar Point. We need to pack. Um, Allison just woke up. She's eating a little bit of breakfast. So there's a lot we need to do there. We got to pack all our clothes. We need to pack some food for the trip. It's going to be a great day. I hope you'll come along with me and enjoy. I was not expecting to eat breakfast at four o'clock in the morning, but Allison woke up bright and chipper and she said, I'm hungry. I want to eat. So <laughs> she's got a little bit of a snack bar to hold her over until, I don't know, six or seven when we can actually eat more food. While I'm in the kitchen, I may as well pack all the food that we're gonna need. I am packing my breakfast because I am choosing not to eat at four o'clock in the morning. So hard boiled eggs, apple slices, and my last English muffin with a little bit of peanut butter on it. And then I'm just bringing some bananas. We're having breakfast inside a little cabin. My parents are bringing some food. I'm just bringing some bananas just in case. And we'll have snacks. I have baby bell cheese. I have a fruit bar. I also have an assortment of snack bars, lar bars, my one bars, some think bars. I don't think we're gonna need all of these, but I like to have them just in case. So I think that is it. Nope, we have some popcorn. We'll stick that in there. A few paper towels just in case, and that is all set. We're just about done. I've got everything packed. Luckily, John and Allison are huge helpers. I like to use checklists. Um, Trello is the app that I use for all my checklists. It's amazing and really handy because you can check it off and then you can uncheck it so you can use it over again. So how many of you are the people who pack three days in advance as opposed to the people who pack like the morning of? I mean, that's us. We really don't do anything until the last minute, but I think we've got everything packed and now we're just waiting on my parents to come and pick us up. One of the things we absolutely need is entertainment. This thing I got at Dollar Tree a long time ago and this is like the coolest bag ever. So you've got like your standard, I still have to do work while I'm on vacation. So while I'm in the car, I might as well do all of my planning. And then we have our Nintendo Switch in here <laughs> and Allison's tablet, headphones, some books, that sort of thing. It's a three hour trip, so it's not like too long, but we still gotta keep ourselves entertained. How are you feeling, Allison? Uh, good! Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Awesome. Alright, ready to ride lots of rides? Uh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, we've made it in. Nine o'clock is the early ride time. So John and Allison and I are heading toward the Kitty Kingdom to ride some rides there before we get started. I brought in a snack, so just so you guys know, you can bring in like snack bars and stuff. It was in my backpack, the dude checked my bag and there is no issue there. You can bring in water bottles and things like that. So we're going to go ride some rides and have some fun. Coaster hair, don't care. Oh my gosh, John just let me ride a Raven, one of my favorite rides. I gotta go find Allison and see what they're up to. Just rode 
this iron dragon right behind her. Allie, how do you feel about it? A 10% out of 10%. A 10% out of 10%. So you loved it. Yep. All right. Top Thrill Dragster is one of the more popular rides here. It goes from 0 to 120 miles per hour in like 3 seconds. Um, so since it's so popular, it takes a long time to wait for it. And this thing terrifies me to no end. So apparently in my old age, I get sick from rides. I rode the Bell Raven and felt nauseous from that. And then I rode the, the boat ride with John and Allison, felt sick from that. So I have not ridden anything else yet. We've just been hanging out with Allison and thankfully her aunt and uncle are riding these rides with her because I cannot handle it. John's riding that Top Thrill Dragster, or waiting in line for it, thinking we need to grab some lunch soon. There are plenty of options and I'm trying to figure out what I want. There are so many places to eat here, but I wanted to try out their newest place, which was the Mac Shack. Think of it like Chipotle, only mac and cheese. You get a big bowl of mac and cheese and you can put all sorts of toppings on it. Oh my goodness, everybody. This is <laughs> mac and cheese. I ended up getting um, pulled pull pork, tomatoes, jalapenos, green onions, and buffalo sauce. So there's my lunch. Allison is having Subway. So what'd you get? Ham sub? Oh, she's giving me a chip. Thank you. Ham and cheese sub with some cheddar and sour cream chips. So thankfully the lines weren't all that long because it was only like 1130. Usually 12, between 12 and 1 is when it gets the most busy. So we try to eat lunch a little bit early. After stopping to admire this really cool looking Marvel truck, we decided to head over to our cabin. Usually the cabins are ready around eh, 1 or 2 p.m. or so. So we typically take a break for a couple hours during the midday just to, you know, relax, keep cool, and then head back out for a little bit longer and do dinner. But these cabins are amazing. I believe there are two different types. One of them is smaller than the other one. Since there were seven of us, we got one of the bigger cabins. And as you can see, like, it is beautiful back here all sorts of water and just the landscaping. The cabins themselves on the outside are super nice, um, but on the inside, they are really, really awesome. So the one that we had, there's a, a big like living room type area here. There's two couches that pull out into beds if needed. There's a TV right there. There's also a small kitchenette area with a microwave and a fridge, a coffee maker, the sink. And this one has two bathrooms. The smaller one has one, but since we got the bigger one, this one has two, which is really handy when there are seven of us. And there's also a bedroom in the back. And then there is also an upstairs. So the upstairs, it's just like a loft, basically. It's not really a room, but there's two different sides to it. The bigger cabins will have mattresses up there. And, and TVs actually, but the smaller one is just a, a floor. So you would have to bring your own air mattress or something. But if, I mean, for the seven of us, it was really nice. And since we were only staying overnight anyway, it's not like we needed a whole bunch of space in the first place.
after hanging out in the cabin for a few hours, we came back and we decided to try their newest ride called the Snake River Expedition. It is basically just a, a boat ride that goes down the river. Um, we had never ridden it before, obviously, but we were pretty excited to see what it was all about. video on that ride so uh, I just showed you the little pieces of it but as you can see behind me Allison wants to ride that next so John <laughs> I roped him into riding it with her she loves the spinny stuff it makes me sick And next up is dinner. Now I'm kind of disappointed with this place because they usually have like other barbecue items like green beans and sausages and stuff, but they only had chicken tenders and ribs with a side of mac and cheese. So that's what we got. I ended up getting the chicken tenders with more mac and cheese. I promise you, I was so tired of mac and cheese by the end of the weekend. It also came with a really delicious corn muffin. It was a, a pretty good dinner besides that. Then afterward, I really wanted some ice cream. I, we usually get some sort of dessert. So this place right here has the best frozen custard. Their chocolate is amazing. By that time it was like 6.30, so we decided to head back to the cabin to relax and get ready for bed. We had another busy morning ahead of us. Robin's. 
Nice. Last morning at the park. We typically do it as kind of like a one and a half day excursion where we spend all day at the park and then we spend the night and then we'll spend part of the morning at the park and then around 11, 11.30 have lunch and then head home. So our plan for this morning, Allison wants to try the big one. She wants to ride Millennium Force with all of us and Millennium Force is like huge giga coaster here in Ohio, 300 feet tall, super fast, no loops or anything, which she is happy about. So we'll have to see what happens when we get up there. I hear them testing some of the coasters right now. The park opens at nine for early ride entry and Millennium Force is one of them. It is currently 8.30, so we are just getting ready. It's gonna be an awesome morning. I will. Here, on the right side. Allison, what did you think of it? Uh, I don't know. I wasn't watching. You had your eyes closed? <laughs> you did really good. You should ride with it. I'm so scared. I was so scared. You were so scared? Well, you did it, and I'm proud of you, girlfriend. High five. A new one for Allison going on Blue Streak. Say no to Raptor and yes to the best ride in the front of the park. Goodbye, guys. See you later. Bye bye.
time for lunch before we head home. Now, since we were at the front of the park, we decided to eat at Hugo's, which is like an Italian place. This is like you go up and you tell them what you want. They have pizza, personal pizzas, they have stromboli, and then they also have a make your own pasta. So I ended up getting a pepperoni stromboli. This thing was huge. And then also comes with either a side salad or like cheesy bread. So I got the salad. Allison was able to get plain pasta with Parmesan cheese, which is her favorite, and the cheesy bread. And we are very happy that she ate that. After lunch, it was time to head home. Now there are different entrances to the park and we were parked in the very back over by the Soak City or the water park. So it was about a 15 minute walk, I think. We could have taken a shuttle, but gosh, we had such a big lunch. We figured it was a good idea to try and walk it off a little bit before getting in the car and driving for three hours. Three hours later, we finally made it home. As you can see, I'm like a hot mess right now. We're gonna go shower tonight. But it is like 4.30, so I'm just getting dinner started. It is just a simple fish sticks in the air fryer and then some Annie's mac and cheese on the stove and then some like green beans from the fridge. So that was our vacation. We had an amazing time and we get to go back here in a few weeks to do it all over again. If you have ever been to Cedar Point, leave a comment and tell me what is your favorite ride. Mine is definitely Valraven with Millennium Forest being a very close second. Thank you all for getting to hang out with us this weekend. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video and ring that bell and that way you'll be notified when more videos come out like my grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you later. Did you know I offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching? Whether your goal is to lose weight, eat healthier, or just want to know how to get started, I can help. You can schedule a free weight loss discovery call by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to chat with you.